Good morning. Let us start a session with a mouth-watering question. What is your favorite food? I may get different answers like idli, dosa, roti, samosa, and kheer. I may not get proper response if I ask the questions like, what are the ingredients of your favorite food? Or by which method your favorite food is prepared? So let us find answers for all these questions within today's session, our food. In this session, let us have a look on what are ingredients, what are the sources of ingredients, what are the different methods of food preparation, and what are the different food preservation methods. So every day from morning to night, we are eating different kinds of foods. So to, pre to prepare different kinds of foods, we require different materials, which are called ingredients. While you're purchasing from market foods like biscuits or chips, on its pack written over here, list of ingredients. So ingredients in the sense, the material which use it to prepare that particular food. On special occasions, are you eating special dishes? Yes, of course. For example, on your birthday, your mother prepared biryani. So what are the ingredients required for preparation of biryani? Rice, water, finely chopped vegetables like carrot, onion, peas, beans, and chili, and also condiments. Here you'll get a doubt what are condiments. Condiments are also called as Sugandha Dravyalu. Some examples for condiments are cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, cumin seeds. So what is the use of these condiments? Condiments are adds a special flavor and taste to the foods. They are very expensive and can't grow commonly. They require special climatic conditions. Along with condiments, we are also using dry fruits to prepare various kinds of foods. Some examples for dry fruits are anjir, cashew, and here dry grapes or kismis or pista. So here condiments and dry fruits together enhance the taste of food. Till now we discussed what are ingredients. Now let us have a look on what are the sources of ingredients. Your three sources of ingredients, one is plant source, the other one animal sources and the next one other sources. Plant sources examples are fruits, vegetables, condiments and dry fruits. Animal sources are milk, meat, egg and honey. Then what about the other source? Other source is salt. Salt is not available from, not only, uh, from the plants or from animals. It is available from the seawater. So it comes as other source. Now let us have a discussion on food habits, how people develop different food habits. Throughout the world, we are finding diversity. Why, why, why we need to go throughout the world, even though in our country, we are finding wide variety of foods. Food habits are, depends on climatic, geographical, and cultural aspects. Example, in our state, our climatic and geographical conditions are very much suitable to cultivate rice. So rice is the staple food of our state. So we are using rice and rice products very widely. Are you expecting the same from other states? A Gujarati cuisine is not, not visible the rice at all. They are using different kinds of foods. In Rajasthan, they are using wheat and bajra or maize because those are grown very well, are suitable to their climatic conditions. So here we conclude that food habits uh, depends on geographical, cultural and climatic conditions. So sometimes you say the food is too delicious or too tasty. How the food get its taste? Taste is depends on the method of preparation and the ingredients which they are used in. So here we can find many methods of preparations. So here you can observe baking, searing, barbecuing, grilling, different types of frying methods like shallow frying, stir frying, pan frying. Other than this, we can find boiling, 
eggs and potatoes are examples. So, other than these methods of food processing, we can find different methods also here. Boiling, eggs and potatoes are example for boiling method of preparation. Steaming, idli is an example. Fermentation, batter of dosa, batter of idli, dough of bread are examples for fermentation. Then chopping and mix, all the salads are example for chopping and mix. So, here we can conclude that. Method of preparation obviously plays a crucial role to giving a sort of taste to the particular food. Then let us have a look on preservation. What is the need of preservation? why we supposed to preserve the food. If we did not preserve the food in a proper manner, it may spoil. So, pre preservation helps us for future use. For example, mangoes, which is the good season for availability of mangoes, obviously summer. So, through, throughout the year to make available the mango, the available season, mango dried and powdered finely and used as armchair. So, here different methods of preservation. Sun drying, smoking, salting, pickling and kept in sugar syrup. You can find here drying, drying in the sense sun drying. Most of the vegetables are sun dried. This is one of the ancient method and very effective. Because of drying, moisture gets evaporate and there is no scope to grow the microbes. The second one is salting. Salt is added to vegetables and even fish also preserved by this process which is known as salt. Salt is the preservative here. Salt prevents the growth of microbes. Then the next one is smoking. Smoking in the sense the food is exposed to smoke. Because of the heat present in the smoke the moisture get evaporates and the food is preserved for long time. Then the other method this is also comes under smoking only. Then the next one, pickling. Your pickles or most of the vegetables are uh, preserved by pickling. Lemon, mango, even fish and meat also preserved by means of pickling. Then vegetable carving. What is meant by vegetable carving? Do you ever observe such kind of cut designs and fruits and vegetables? So this is an art called as vegetable carving. You can find many pictures here which are cut in various shapes and designs. Before winding up the session, let us recall the important points which we come across. Food material are prepared with various kinds of ingredients. Ingredients in the sense material which are required for preparation of food. These ingredients are sources of these ingredients are three types plant sources, animal sources and other sources. Plant sources examples are fruits, vegetables, condiments and dry fruits. Whereas animal sources meat, milk, eggs and honey. Whereas other source salt is the other source which not belongs to either plant or animal source. There are different methods of preservation like roasting, smoking, <laughs>